My bilateral visit to Japan is essential. It is part of a larger foreign policy agenda to forge closer political ties, stronger defense and security cooperation, as well as lasting economic partnerships with major countries in the region amid a challenging global environment. I will be actively cultivating collaboration in priority areas that we have identified, the areas of agriculture, renewable energy, digital transformation, infrastructure, defense and security, and other areas where future synergies and complementary interests converge with those of Japan. The Prime Minister and I expect to witness the signing and exchange of key agreements in the areas of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, infrastructure, agriculture, and digital cooperation. A few moments later Good afternoon, guests and members of the delegation Please settle down to your respective seats. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Good uh, morning, everyone. Please uh, take a seat. Uh, I'd like to greet uh, Vice President and the Secretary of Education, Sarah Duterte. Uh, former President, Senior Deputy Speaker, uh, our, what I keep calling our secret weapon on all these trips is uh, <laughs> former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, the uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Martin Romualdez, and the members of the Cabinet who are all here today, uh, the AFP Chief of Staff, General Andy Centino, the PCG Commandant, Admiral Artemio Abu, uh, First Lady, uh, Imelda, uh, Imelda.
1966 and again in 1977, broadening and de deepening our bilateral ties and laying the groundwork for the eventual st establishment of our strategic partnership. My bilateral visit to Japan is essential. It is part of a larger foreign policy agenda to forge closer political ties, stronger defense and security cooperation, as well as lasting economic partnerships with major countries in the region amid a challenging global environment. This visit also, we, we will seek to further strengthen the bonds of friendship with a close neighbor, like-minded and future-oriented like us in many ways and the most reliable partner in times of both crises and of prosperity. During my trip, I hope to harness the positive trajectory of our relationship with Japan in all of our enriching engagements. This administration is keen on working closely with Japan in forging stability and dynamism into our bilateral relations and bringing our strategic partnership to greater heights. I will be actively cultivating collaboration priority areas that we have identified, the areas of agriculture, renewable energy, digital transformation, infrastructure, defense and security, and other areas where future synergies and complementary interests converge with those of Japan. I believe that we are stronger together when we stand steadfast and face the future with a transformative agenda in mind. The First Lady and I will have the honor of having an imperial audience with their majesties, the Emperor and Empress of Japan. I will also invite them to visit the Philippines to be welcomed by the warm hospitality of Filipinos who have endeared Japan and Japanese culture in their hearts. During my visit, I will also be meeting with Prime Minister Kishida Fumio to take stock of our bilateral relations and regional cooperation in a broad range of engagements from our security and economic relations to our, of our two countries and our continued commitment to mutual peace and prosperity. The Prime Minister and I expect to witness the signing and exchange of key agreements in the areas of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, infrastructure, agriculture and digital cooperation. Many of these, uh, these uh, uh, MOUs and MOAs and uh, um, uh, other, un uh, other documents that we will be witnessing are in fact the product of our meetings in New York and also in APEC. Japan has been a major bilateral trade and official development partner. Consistent in its commitment, to uphold the same values aligned with our econ economic and development priorities. Japan is also the first country which signed a bilateral FTA or free trade agreement with the Philippines through the PH Japan Economic Partnership Agreement. In this partnership of possibilities, I believe that we can further expand our trade in goods and services as well as in investments. As in my other bilateral visits, I will hold meetings with Japan's business leaders to promote trade and investment opportunities in the Philippines. In these meetings, I shall be joined by my economic team and key private sector representatives who have been and will be continuing continuously our partners in growing our economy. I look forward to my meeting with a large Filipino diaspora in Japan who have been contributing through their hard work and positive disposition in building a better Philippines through, though they are far away, through all the assistance that they have been giving to the Philippines for many, many years now. I look forward to bringing home, as they say, bringing home more of these agreements that will be of benefit to the transformation of our economy and to be able to to mitigate some of the challenges that we are facing in the new global economy. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po at magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat.
enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.